Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your end of July reading. This is for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings, so keep that in mind. If this feeling, if this feeling, if this reading feels right, then it's right. If it feels wrong, then it's wrong. This is for the sign of Cancer. Oh, they flipped too. Removing obstacles. Perhaps you've been lied to or maybe you're lying to yourself, but this is removing that obstacle. Something is ending or needs to end. This is betrayal, deceit, deception, the end, the end. And it could be the end of, of something that has been causing a lot of mental turmoil in your life. Maybe it's the end of that. That sounds good, don't it? Here we have the Page of Cups. This is an offer, an unexpected and welcome offer of emotional support. Whether it's a new partner, a new love, or just a friend, or a child, or a family member, or somebody offering emotional support, could be that. This is something that, it's like somebody's not wanting to put any more work into it. I don't know what it is, but we're going to just lay these out and keep going. Look at that, you're right in the middle. Right in the middle, the basis of this reading. Um... Now, both of these cards are transformation cards, so some of you are going through a transformation, a big one, a release that is going to bring more victory and success to your life, so congratulations. You could have been involved in a third-party situation, just saying, but this could be the end of it. could be the end of that third-party situation. Maybe somebody's deciding, you know what, I don't want to invest in this shit. There's something going on behind the scenes with this moon card, also represented by the sign of Pisces. There could be some secrets, there could be some lies, some manipulation, or it's just some mystery. Some sort of mystery. A hidden force. This can also be addiction, so I'm not sure if some of you ha or ha have some addictions that are affecting you. Now, that could be one of the obstacles. If you are having some addiction that is holding you back from success, well, hey, that's what happens, right? Somebody. Your challenge. Somebody is, is not feeling alive. Somebody needs to liven up. They need to come out of this period of whatever it is that they're in. You need to feel alive again. That's where I was doing with the sun buddy. But over here in your challenge position is a three of cups reverse. It's about getting out there and having fun, especially connected to that page of, of cups. You need to get out there. You need to have fun. You need to lighten up. You need to allow yourself to be happy. Go date or whatever. If you're single, get out there. Date. Have fun. Be more playful. You know, be generous with yourself. Your challenge is, is that, is, is having fun. Now, this can mean so many things. Your challenge could also be that you were involved in a third-party situation and now you don't know what to do. Should you continue to invest in it or not? It feels like a decision has been made, though, with the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups reversed is the decision has been made. Perhaps to stop staying wherever you've been, to move forward. The decision has been made to... To move on, to move forward. I mean, this chariot is finding the mental strength to master your emotions and head in a new direction. To face opposition, look it right in the eye. End it. End this betrayal. I mean, these are both death cards. They're mirroring each other. I mean, that's a death. That's a death. It's like something has ended here, Cancer, for good. And it could be, it could have been an illusion that you were holding on to. Were you holding on to an illusion? I mean, this is in this position, this is how other people see you. Illusionist? I mean, is that how other people see you? I mean, that's where the card is. That's what it is. And this is how other people see you. So I think that during this time, you guys are letting go of something that was an illusion. That's what it looks like to me. Interesting. Let me get this zoomed in. Or focus. Um, your overall, your overall basis, though, is yourself. Okay, the chariot card. It's mental strength. It's replacing fear with faith. Transformation, Cancer. 
you guys are going through a transformation. And I don't care what anybody says. We have two major transformation cards here. And this could stem even from self-love. Maybe you guys are deciding to put your own emotions first. Wow. That's what needs to happen, right? I mean, because you guys are the mother, right? You're the mother. So what do you usually do? You always put everybody else's emotions before yours? I think it's time for you to put you first. Master those emotions. And move forward towards victory and success. And I think that's what you're doing. That's what this looks like to me. So typically these are love readings. So let's see what we can get for future in love. I think that you guys are, are ending something. Okay. For good. It's done. It's over. Okay. It is. But that, I mean, I, some people don't want, you know, they don't want to believe it. But this is an ending and this is an ending. I mean, come on now. Can't, can't pretend with those cards. Okay. You can't. It's just the way it is. Decision has been made to let it end. You guys are standing up for yourself. You're setting boundaries. Headed in the right direction, taking your time. You know, it's like planning for the future. Passing a test. Taking it slow. And, and whatever you're taking slow is going to be solid because it's not like fly by the seat of your pants. Stupid, you know. You guys are making plans and you're following through. No rush in here. There is um, happiness on the way. We're headed towards the future, thank God. Your hard work, your dedication, your being practical is leading towards some sort of commitment. It's leading so towards some sort of happiness. Now, the Page of Pentacles is somebody that doesn't put ha have a plan. Luckily, the knight is underneath it. The knight is, is wiser than the page. So perhaps... Some of you have been involved in a third party situation or a situation that maybe it was even addictions of some sort, again, that has brought you backwards, caused you to lose your focus, caused you to lose your, your concentration, caused you to follow through on a plan. But I feel like you guys are wanting to drop that burden it's been such a big burden it's been too heavy to carry around for some of you not all there's addictions here that are impacting your success okay so i think that it's a burden it's heavy it's this whatever it is that you're holding on to is really 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 heavy it's heavy it's weighing you down but thank god we have an unexpected choice in love we do so I feel like there is some sort of happiness coming into your life. Maybe it's a new union, a new contract, a new person. Maybe it's a soulmate. I feel like there is some sort of um, coming together that is going to help you to heal. Whether it's going to help you to heal your heart or help you to heal these addictions or help you to heal both. Heal both. Okay, love heals. And whenever I see this card, it's love heals. You meet this partner and this partner, you know, you guys, um, you join and it just starts to heal all the, the negative toxins in your body, you know, your feelings, the whole nine yards. I feel as though um, you guys are going to have to make a decision as to whether you want to still be in a commitment leave a commitment or start a new commitment okay because with this three of cups it could go either way it's reversed there's an opportunity to make a choice in regards to a partnership do you want a commitment do you want to be in a third party situation or do you want to leave a third party situation whatever this is there's a heavy decision that needs to be made however it resonates with you and i think it does involve a soulmate but I tend to think this is somebody new. It's over in the future. Okay, it's over in the future. So I feel like there is a union that is coming about after you've been left out in the cold. <laughs> okay, it's the end of a difficult period. So love is coming for you, Cancer. If you're single, love is coming. If you are together, and that's why I'm seeing these different scenarios. If you are in a partnership, and this reading is for you, you know, there's a third party situation in which somebody is thinking about leaving because they know they have a better option or they have a better option. They have to make a choice. They have to choose between two people. 
So for some of you, there's a choice between two people. But I think a decision is being made, okay? Either way, that I want love, I want a commitment. It's time for me to do the right thing for me. That's what I see. Somebody is, is has an offer of love, whether they take it or not, is a whole other story. Don't you love it when that happens? One card. Moving on. You guys are headed towards more a more peaceful, tranquil, uh, serene time in your life. I think the troubles are going to start to go away as as you know the cancer eclipse fades out. You know the cancer, the cancer sun. You know that period fades. I think as you guys you know move into the next phase, things are going to feel a lot more peaceful and at ease for you. Um, peace and harmony is coming to your life. You deserve it. You know, in sixes are, it's time for you to, your life is about to get back on track. We have these sixes here. So I do feel like your life is going to start to even out and start to feel more joyous. But I do feel as though some of you are needing to make a decision in regards to a third party situation. <laughs> Three, of course. Somebody needs to make a choice in regards to a third party situation. Now third party situation can be children, can be parents, can be lovers, can be friends and a lover. Could, you know, the options are endless. But somebody has to stop working together with one person. Three is a crowd. That's what I see. Three is a crowd. So there's a choice that needs to be made in regards to love. You also need to appreciate yourself. Appreciate your worth. Yeah, there's one relationship that isn't working out. But there's a new opportunity. There's a new opportunity for love. Somebody that is better suited for you. Somebody's been involved in an un unhappy situation for too long. And it's time to get out of there. It's time to get the hell out of that situation. Whoever that is. Have no fear. Stop hanging on. Somebody's been hanging on to something um, for fear of what the what fear of the unknown. But the fact of the matter is, is the unknown is better than than staying where you're at. It's getting old. It's getting old staying where you're at. Even though, yeah, you've been enlightened and you feel a lot better. You've but I think you've done your work. I think it's time to get off the branch. Stand up. Take the next step forward. It is. It's time to focus on your future. It's time to pre get prepared. Or maybe that's what you've been doing. You've been getting prepared for this relationship. But your guard is still up. You have to make this decision. I told you about There's a choice between two avenues. There is. Somebody's at a crossroads and they have to make a choice. The two, two of Swords is sitting on the fence. It's safe here. It's really safe here. Do I open my heart again? Do I open my heart? That's the question. That is the question. That is the true question here. Do you open your heart? That's what I see. The future looks bright. Again, look at this. This is the Three of Wands. I ended up covering up one of the wands without even knowing it. Three is a crowd. Somebody's got to go. Somebody's got to go. Whether it's your partner that's involved in a third party situation or you or who knows. Now this would break down to the two of wands and we already have it. Two of wands. I don't know if we do have it. I can't remember but whatever. The two of wands is, is two paths. I already talked about this. I think I was looking at this card when I saw that. Anyway. There's two paths. Do you stay or do you go? Do you stay or do you go? Do you open your heart or not? Do you let your guard down? Do you let somebody feel your heart? Do you allow your heart to feel? What is it going to be? You can't control it. It's out of control. It's out of your control. Your heart, I mean, it's out of your control. You need to let go of the flow. Stop trying to control. Let those guards down. Take the bars down. You know, if somebody's letting anger of the past hold them back, what good is that going to do? So you could have been dealing, you could have even been dealing with an Aries, somebody that was controlling you. Still, don't let that, don't let that hold you back. 
This is somebody, again, somebody that's not focused, somebody that's lost concentration, the emperor in reverse. You allow that. There's an opportunity for a new partner here, something that is very exciting, um, passionate, and promises growth. A new beginning, Cancer, for you. You deserve it. Open your heart. That's my advice. Open your heart. Three is a crowd. If there's somebody that needs to go, they need to go. So this person, this lover's card, this is an unexpected choice in love. Unexpected choice in love. With somebody that is not your usual type, but you feel very, very familiar with them. And it's like Cupid has brought you together. And it's so unexpected and so wonderful that you can't deny it. But there could be somebody in the way. And it even could be a feeling. It could be your own heart. Try that could be the other that could be the third person, you know. Your your heart versus mine. I don't know. Could be a person, a physical person as well. But I see that something is in the way from you opening your heart to this new person. But this person is like you know each other. You know each other. And you may be afraid to let go of your independence. You may feel like you're not worthy of this person. And that could be because you've been controlled by another person. This can go all the way back to your childhood. This can go back to a father who abandoned you. And now you're afraid of abandonment again. So you're afraid to open your heart. I mean, there's so many different scenarios here. Somebody feels not worthy of this love. But it's time for justice to be served. It's time for you to get the karma, the good karma that you deserve. It's time. It's time for balance to come back to your life. And it's time for you to make this, this decision, even if it's hard. To finalize something so that you can move on with an open heart. We're going to get one of these. I feel like there's an opportunity for something very passionate to begin this at the end of July, Cancer. I think this is with somebody that you know, okay, somebody that you know. You may be already, you know, caught up in a mess with somebody else and you've got to get out of it, okay? So that's what it looks like to me, but I feel like this is this is good karma coming your way despite what anybody else might say. I think that you might not feel like you're worthy of whatever this is, but you are. You are worthy of love. You are. You're worthy of the real deal. So just keep that in mind. Um, yeah. Remember over here when I said obstacles? That's your mind. This is the Eight of Swords. That's mind. Mental turmoil. That's an obstacle. Let that shit go. Whatever has happened in the past... Don't don't let it make you resentful and angry. Just let it go. I knew it. I knew it. New love. Embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth. This is that could be work opportunities or spiritual growth, but for me, it's new love. New love, period. That's what it looks like. We're gonna get one of these. Remember I said something all the way back to your childhood? It doesn't have to be a father. This is something about abandonment from childhood. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Your love life benefits as you forgive. Period. Allow these issues to heal so that you can find balance, peace, and harmony in your life. Your life is about to get better. I see that it's happening. New love is on the horizon. If you're willing to open your heart. And you do. You open your heart. I know that you do. But I think that you've been hurt recently in the past. The most recent past to the point where you're like, oh, I don't think I can. Please do. How could you deny something like that? 
It's a soulmate connection. Talk to you later.